Hey guys, in this video, what I'm going to walk you through is my entire content generation strategy. <clears throat> and to brief you, what I'm going to do is first of all, give you a little background about my campaign. So let's understand what the campaign is. The campaign is that on 7th to 9th of October, what I'm doing is I'm hosting a resume writing boot camp right boot camp and what is my intention my intention is that at least 250 people should attend that boot camp right that's my objective now for me to get this 250 people in the boot camp i would need to drive a lot of different things and do a lot of different things and in this entire uh, video it was it is going to be a little detailed video, but in this entire video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I'm going to plan my entire calendar of content. Now that the campaign is ready for 7th and 9th and 8th and 9th of October, three days of resume writing bootcamp. So let's get started. And the first thing that I would like to do is I would like to chart out my content strategy. Now, this is a sheet which I normally use to kind of come up with some content ideas. So if the topic is about resume writing, the category, the first category that I have where I will say that, okay, what are the three myth about resume writing that people have? And we'll just take 10 of them for now. Uh, how Adi got seven different job opportunities by using this resume hack. Three tools that will make your resume stand out from others how to get more visibility to your resume that drives more that drives interview calls how to find the right opportunities that just fits your role. Re three reasons why you are not getting any calls for a job interview. Right. Mm. Two mind blowing facts about resume. How to rock your first tele call that you get immediately after you post your resume. All right, so these are some of them, and I think I got eight of them. We'll do two more. Step by step process to design your resume. Three common mistakes to avoid in your Three common mistakes to avoid in your resume design. So now we've got 10 of them, right? So now I've got my 10 different content ideas that I would like to go. Now, please remember it is aligned with my, uh, it is aligned with my campaign that I have designed. Now I will get into the deep of what are the three myths that people have? So let me first put my thoughts around this. 
and my thoughts are number one is that one single resume fits all the opportunities that one applies to number two on resume what are the myth that people have is that once i resume is uploaded on platforms i will automatically get calls third one is that the third myth around resume is that it is not okay to follow up with the recruiter time and again so these are some of the things that i have in my mind but let's also validate and what i'll do is i'll go on google and type myth about resume writing now as soon as i put myth about resume writing i've got one resume will work for all the jobs resume must be exactly one page yeah that's a that's a good myth employment gaps will hurt you so this this is also a good one only paid experiences count the more keywords the better social media links have no place in a resume the good myths right but what i would do is i would kind of get into a good website which is kind of forbes like surf forbes and i'll get into studying and reading more about what myth are these people talking about because when a website like forbes would publish something it will be a global uh, you know a global touch point which means they cover the global market and not just a local market you must reference the references you must keep your resume to one page spelling errors immediately disqualify you using graphs are a waste of space fancy formatting matters you need an objective statement include all of your soft skills never use color achievement should be highlighted in separate targeted resume are too narrow hit the uh, treasures for action verbs full name address email and phone number are required yeah that's right addresses mainly are not required okay this is good one and now i will kind of go back and check for some other good website so what i'm actually looking for is good website to pick up my content if i want to uh, you know make some edits i would look for some good uh, content right restrict your resume to two pages you must include references for your resume you have to tell lies to secure a job into paper resume are enough create a perfect resume to get the best job in the industry few grammatical errors are okay and who cares about formatting so these are good and what i would do is i would like to edit my last one and say that one page resume is what is good so i'll make some edits but i got the point here now if i want to update this content as well on instagram what kind of real style will i be using is what i will have to think about you could actually write a story around uh, let's say um, so this will be a content that will go with the description this is a content that you will speak if it is a video right so what description will i use i will use a description which is in the form of storytelling and i would say uh three tips to help you your resume stand out i remember interacting with freshers to professionals carry 
20 plus years same approach to resume writing I interact with pressures, the professional scaring, the approach is simple, take a format from a friend or a colleague, make basic edits in my Let's pause for a second and ask if we are doing enough this to the experience that we have. And then I will also go deep into saying, I use a simple formula to say if you have 10 years of experience you got to spend 10 hours at least to design your resume as It's simple. I also believe that no resume writer can do enough justice to your profile. Agree? And 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 now. I will just take this content and then go to a website called papertype.ai, right? papertype.ai. And what it does is, let me quickly log in and I will be able to share with you what it does. So what it does is, it helps you to, so let me first choose a category as to what category do I want to post this social media, blog outline, blog conclusion. So let's say this is blog. Let's say it's a Facebook ad copy. And I would say, exceeds limit of 180 characters so let to go back and check on to something else compelling bullet points youtube topic ideas content rewriter and there are a lot of these uh, available let's see aida format 400 is what they allow so i'll have to cut short i think this is good and three tips name your product the resume writing Boot camp. Create content. Let's see if it does that. And what different options would paper type come up with? Attention. Okay, let's see. Are you using the correct resume format? Interest. Here are three tips to help your resume stand out with examples. Here are three easy tips to help you optimize your existing resume with examples. Take a hook, take a look. Increase your chances of getting into the interview. Create a resume that gets you the job. 
how to write resume for fresher. So these are the different formats that they have given us with what is it that will, so AIDA primarily stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. Do you know that resume that stand out wins 65% more interviews? That's a good one. Interest, resume writing bootcamp, three tips to help your resume stand out. This is again, it will interest them, right? Good one. Are you giving enough time to your resume? So what I'll do is I will kind of leverage some of these and, you know, so I like this one. So I would put this as my, um, I'll go ahead and put this here. Did, do you know that resume that stands out when 65% more interviews is a good one? I will use that. And I also liked this is this is also a good one. You shouldn't just be applying for jobs, but should be applying for opportunities. Resume writing bootcamp. Do you know resume that stands out? In, click here to see my take on three biggest secret mistakes when it comes to resume writing. So you get the point that I'm trying to make. That whatever description you write, you go back and check onto this tool. Some of the uh, uh, things on this platform is available for you for free. So you can use that. Again, if I want, I can, you know, get in, get validated on my, uh, you know, headlines as well. So let's say social media post caption, right? So what's the caption that we're using here? The caption is three myths about resume writing. So I'll go here and see three myths about. So let's see what captions do they come up with. Okay. Three myths about resume writing. It's pretty simple to make an awesome resume. It's pretty simple to make an awesome resume. Resume writing a resume is easy, but there are three myths you have to avoid. This is a good one. Writing a resume is easy, but there are three myths that you should avoid. That's a good one. And then there are just a few simple steps to a perfect resume. Resume writers are unnecessary. <laughs> That's a good one. Resume writers are unnecessary. Resume writers are expensive. If you want to nail your next job, see this article about resume. Yeah, getting a good resume is all about writing and editing. Resume writers are ha hard to find. Resume write writing is hard. It's okay. We've got you. Three myth about resume writing. There are three myths about resume. Resume writing is process of writing and preparing a resume. Get your resume ready for the month of May. So you get the idea. The step here is to just check on the content, the topic, and the description that you've got. Are you literally leveraging uh, the entire uh, tools that are available for us to leverage the, uh, you know, viral ability, viral ability of the content? Now, what are the hashtags that we should be using? So what I want you to do is go to meta hashtags, meta hashtags. You go here and this is primarily for Instagram uh, that you will be able to find which is resume, I just say resume. And what it will do is it will come up with different hashtags. So I would, I would say for me resume, okay. So th there are some which has come up, motivation, interview, job search, success, human resource, recruitment, job, career, jobs. I've added some more. Resume and it has given me good list. So I'll copy this, come here and paste. And then I'll go back and type out resume writing. Let's see what do they come up with. So it says resume writing, resume we've already used, resume tips, 
is good. Resume writer, resume services, right? So, so this is good, but this, uh, there are some repetitive. And what I'll do is I'll say job search to job search. Let's see what it comes up with. And as I put job search, it will give me relevant. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to align my content with the right hashtags. And that's very important because if I'm using a wrong hashtag, it might not give me the visibility that I need. So I'll just write it some more here. I'll say resume writing, resume writer. I don't know, for some reason, it's taking time here. So it's not allowing me and asking me to upgrade, which is okay, but let me try it again. Job search. Yeah, it's good. So it has job search, jobs, job. It has job search is there, jobs is there. And then I'll say, Job is also there. Career. Career. Career, right? That's there. Mm, looks good. Looks good. So now, if you see the first piece of content, which is on the myth of resume writing, is ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into recording it and then posting it on my LinkedIn, uh, on my Instagram. I hope so like this, I will kind of between today and seven, eight, nine, I'll have 10 such piece of content that I've written every single. So I sit one time and do this job once for 10 days, the content is ready. It is as simple as that. Let's not complicate. I hope this video helps you in designing your own uh, content strategy. If you remember, I used paper type, I used meta hashtags for meta for hashtags, paper type for copywriting, and this simple sheet where it is made and all of these that can give me the content ideas. I hope this helps. Thank you so much and make a great day. Bye-bye.